That was a thrill, Eivor. Girl! We are champions of Grand Bridge. That was a thrill, Eivor. We are champions of Grand Bridge. Do you know of any other towns that need liberating? You don't think we have had enough drama for one day? We should return to the settlement. Or we could have a drink. To celebrate our victory. At home. Tekla has all the mead and ale we could want. Eivor, our outing has hardly begun. Find us an alehouse and let us make ourselves at home. Let's return the horse. And if your thirst remains, we'll look around. Magni, we solved your bandit problem. Did you? Well done! And did you find my sweet mare? Your horse is outside, waiting for you. Thank the gods he is safe. And thank you, Eivor. And your friend Ranvi, wherever she is. She is here somewhere. Someone is thirsty. Are you determined to get drunk? I... What are you playing at? A drinking contest. You versus me. Wolfkist versus Table Maiden. Ranvi, we can do better than Table Maiden. Mead Queen, then. All right. Let us drink. Beautiful. Anymore and I'll drown. Ha! I am the Mead Queen, slayer of wolves and barrels. I told you I would drink you under the table. So, are you satisfied? My head is ringing like a bell. More than satisfied. Now come, we'll ride this off and take in the air as we head home. After just one more stop. Ah, oh, Randvi. It's a sunken tower near a waterfall, close to home. We can stop for a look, and then you are free of me. It's near the highest point of a hill, just south of the settlement. Easy to spot, I'm sure. All right, one last stop then. I know it might not show, Eivor, but I am terribly excited. Oh, it shows. Leaving already? Well, I do hope to see you again. Randy, return any time. I might have to, Magni. Thank you for everything. No, no, thank you. Safe travels. A 
I think you may have punctured poor Magni's heart back there. What can I say? Not the first, and it will not be the last. I name you Randvi, slayer of bandits and breaker of hearts. I will sound it with pride. Sunivar described this tower for me. A desolate yet peaceful place. I am eager to see it. After a full day of action... I was wondering something. You and Soma. Was there something more to your bond? You spoke of her with a particular shine in your eyes. We grew very close, very quickly. Is that what you mean? No, I mean... Did something happen between you two? What sort of question is that? An innocent one. Innocent as a newborn babe. Nothing happened between us. That is my answer. Hmm. I find that disappointing. If I were you, I might have tested the waters. Eivor, entangled by a hardy Jarlskona as she leads her army to victory and prosperity. A rather appealing match. <laughs> I'm going to pretend your last words were taken by the wind, Radvi. If you must. Go! Oh. That must be the tower. Take the bridge. <laughs> Just as beautiful as Suniva's stories tell. Can you imagine how it looked when it was first built, hundreds of winters ago? Sometimes when looking at a map, I imagine little people in their little armies. Traversing the land, and now, staring at these ruins, I imagine people of old, how they lived, never knowing what would become of their monuments. You have a fertile imagination. I want a view from the top. Shall we? Lead on. Mind where you put your fingers. These stones are old and weathered. You climb well for one who folds maps. You jest, but I have raised the frames of longhouses and hammered the ribs of longships. My hands are calloused from hard work. A stunning view. It reminds me of my early years in Norway. How I used to climb the hills beyond the wood. You have an adventurous heart. I hardly see it behind the table, but... Now I've watched you scale a tower in furs, soaking wet. I was rowdy in my youth. Hunting. Sailing. I was a wildling of the open air, before I became this staunch and stoic woman. Married off in service of peace between two clans. A noble and worthy role, but not one I had ever imagined for myself. You would have made a fine wandering warrior. A Jomsvikinger, free to come and go as she pleased. I think so too. It may be we would have sailed together, over the open seas, raiding or traveling. Or faced each other on the field of battle. Without your marriage to Sigurd to secure peace, our clans might still be at war. True. Very true. Thank you for today. Every bit of it has been a dream, and... and I'm not keen to wake. Then don't. We can stay here as long as you like. Yes. What was that? Uh, oh, no, I am... I'm sorry. I sh shouldn't have. I got away from myself. No need to apologize. Sigurd is your brother, and I... I have put you in a very difficult position. The heart does not do politics like the head. It may be the meat, it may be the air, but there's no need to apologize. <laughs> I am sober enough. But the truth of it is, 
I have felt this way for some time now. I care for you, Eivor. That is... comforting to hear. I have long felt the same way. But I banished the thought that this would ever happen. Many times I wished to tell you. Wished to say what was in my heart and what I desired. But duty kept me from it. Say all you like. Today has meant so much. We rode, we fought, we drank, we laughed. You showed me your world. Not in words, but deeds. Deeds are more direct than words. Andre? Hmm. Must have returned to the settlement. <laughs> 